This is a transverse uh, section in the uh, right lower quadrant. As we see here, we see the vermiform appendix along the anterior surface of the psoas muscle. This is the psoas muscle. This is the terminal ileum. And this is the appendix. As we see, it is compressible. Here is the cecum, terminal ileum. By scanning and following the terminal ileum, we see the ileocecal valve here. The ileum is entering the cecum, the ileocecal junction. And we see that the appendix arises from the cecum just beneath the ileocecal junction. So by following the terminal ileum to the cecum and identifying the ileocecal junction, we can find the appendix in most cases by slightly scanning down to the ileocecal junction. This is another view. By rotating the probe, we can see the transverse section of the appendix this is the normal appendix. We see inner ecogenic lining and outer hypoechoic mucosa. And this is the terminal ileum. This is the psoas muscle. Here we can see the compressibility of the appendix. It can be compressed by the probe. Here's another view. We have to scan uh, the entire length of the appendix till the tip. Here we see the appendix when it comes out from the cecum and also the terminal ileum and the ileocecal junction. Here is the appendix when it comes out from the cecum. And this is the terminal ileum. If we scan a little bit laterally, we can see the cecum. We see here a small amount of free fluid inferior to it. This is the cecum. Inferior pole. This is a small amount of free fluid. This is the anterior abdominal wall. Here is the tip of the appendix. 
This is a transverse section of the terminal ileum and we see the rosette appearance of the lumen. and the peristaltic movement so we can uh, begin searching for the appendix by putting the probe and identifying uh, the cecum and uh, obtaining a longitudinal section of the cecum by scanning medially we can see the ileocecal junction and the appendix both are coming out from the cecum anterior to the psoas muscle.